Hello students, today we are going to discuss class 7 science chapter number 3. In the chapter number 1, chapter number 2, we have studied about the nutrition in plants and nutrition in animals. This chapter is a little bit different from the nutrition, okay? So don't worry. First of all, tell me which type of clothes you like to wear. Means jeans or uniform like clothes, means synthetic shirts, pants or cotton shirt pant, t-shirt, formal uniform, which type of clothes you like to wear. Many of your choices may be different, some of the students may like, no sir, I like only t-shirt and shorts, I like jeans only, I like this, I like that, many of the factors, right? So now question is what? You like different type of clothes. Do you know the quality of clothes? Have you ever touched the clothes that which type of cloth is this? Either it is cotton or synthetic or different type of clothes. Do you know the types of clothes? How many types of clothes are there? No. Why I am telling you these all the things? Because today we are going to discuss the same thing in this chapter called animal's fiber. In the sixth standard, the same chapter name was fiber to fabric, right? In the same sixth standard, third chapter also was the same thing. If you don't know, then you can go at my YouTube channel. You can search class six, chapter number three, fiber to fabric by Sonu sir. You will get. So you can understand these things from the sixth standard also. In the fiber to fabric only, I had explained that what are these fiber and fiber. Same chapter, it has been extended in seventh standard. Okay, so let's start. First of all, the material that is used to make clothing is called fabric. What is fabric? Any cloth material is made up of any fabric, either cotton, either synthetic, either nylon or any other. So whenever any fabric is there, because of fabric only any clothes are made. Just suppose if this cloth would not be there then this t-shirt would prepare? No. Any towel is there, right? Towel or any other thing if we talk about the vest, if we talk about the t-shirt, if we talk about the shirt, pant, any other clothing wearing material. If that clothing material is there, so that clothing material is called fabric. So here I have written also the material that is used to make clothing is called fabric. Fabric is made up of weaving or knitting yarn. Yes. Now question is what? What are these fabric? Yeah, clothes you have known. This cloth is made up of any fabric. Now what are these clothes made up of? Clothes are made by weaving or knitting. It is a artificial method called knitting either weaving or knitting whenever any yarn is woven uh, whenever any yarn is either woven or knitted then that fabric is prepared it means if i talk about this t-shirt t-shirt's clothes so what are these t-shirts clothes made? they are made up of yarn what is this yarn a single thread of this cloth is called yarn so many fibers are spun together to get yarn so now as for example now what I, nowadays you will see the mixture of cotton and synthetic clothes 100% I don't think nowadays in the market it's available also it is mixed cotton and synthetic or cotton and rayon or cotton and any other fiber is mixed and then the clothes are there. so here it's written many fibers are spun together to get the yarn I hope all of you have understand if you have not understand then you can take a screenshot and after taking a screenshot, I will tell you some of the defines of this chapter. So please take a screenshot. I hope all of you have taken a screenshot. Now let's start our chapter. Okay, now tell me. Do we wear same type of clothes in all the season, all the 12 months? No, no. We wear cotton clothes in summer, right now it's summer season, right? So we are wearing cotton, cotton clothes. If I talk about uh, in the winter, we wear sweater, we wear jackets. If we talk about the rainy season, we wear raincoats. Means different, different season, different, different types of clothes. So can you tell me, why do we wear different types of clothes in different season? Because it protects our body, it protects our body from the outside surrounding atmospheric conditions so if it is rainy so we wear in rainy coat so it prevents us from the rain if we are wearing sweater if we are wearing jacket so it prevents us from cold and if we wear any cotton clothes in the summer month so it keeps us cool right for this purpose only we are wearing the clothes right okay now after getting the information as i have told you about the fabric 
the material that is used to make clothing is called fabric the material that is used to make clothing the material which is used to make clothing is called fabric now where do this fiber comes from question is that where do this fiber comes from this fiber first of all before getting the knowledge where does it come from we must have a knowledge of classification after getting the classification knowledge sources of fiber after getting the sources of knowledge then we will know parts of sources right so we'll go each and every part this is the flow chart diagram of fibers fibers are generally divided into the two parts natural fiber or synthetic synthetic fiber is also known as artificial fiber okay so here natural fiber and synthetic fiber natural fibers are of two types plants and animals synthetic fibers are specially obtained from industry the sources of natural fibers are plants and animals and the sources of synthetic fiber are industries plants if i ask you give me the two names of natural fiber which are obtained from the plant cotton and jute if i ask you about the animal fiber wool and silk if i ask you about the synthetic fiber which are obtained from the industries rayon nylon acrylic saffron many more there are so many artificial fiber or synthetic fiber after getting the knowledge of these all the things in this chapter animals fiber we are going to study about specially animals fiber in the animals fiber i had drawn it about the two things wool and silk first we are going to describe in this chapter about the wool and then we are going to describe about the silk have you ever heard the word called wool ba 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 black sheep have you any wool yes sir yes sir three bags from you may have heard this word in the nursery only right so but that time we are not knowing about the wool what are the wool means why we are taking wool from the sheep and what are the uses of that wool but in this chapter we are going to study each and everything from that ba 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 black sheep till the wool and fiber and the uses of wool and fiber wool is a good fabric for making clothes for the different reason and wool is a fiber that we get mainly from the fleece of a sheep but we also get it from the hair of goats camels and rabbits especially fleece of a sheep you should know fleece our fleece is this hair right similarly the sheep also have a hair that is called fleece so this wool we obtain from the sheep's fleece right so after getting the knowledge from where do we obtain the wool now we will move about that what are the good fabrics of wool and for what purpose we are using the wool fabric wool is soft and it provides warmth the air spaces between the wool fibers create an insulating barrier which prevents body heat from escaping wool is hand suitable for use during the winter wool is specially wool all the wool clothes woolen clothes are being used in the winter season woolen clothes keeps our body heat and warm means it does not make us shivery it keeps us fit means it keeps our body warm it does not allow the air to escape out or it does not allow also the air to come in from the outs wool has elasticity means if your body size is so heavy and you have got a small size but it is elastic nowadays you may have seen that nowadays jeans are also elastic as your thigh is very fat so that jeans can easily fit in your that thigh so similarly the elasticity property the wool of uh, ships wool has the property of elasticity it can be easily dyed in the different colors yes whatever the color of the flesh of a ship is there it can be dyed dyed means color not that dye okay d y e and d i e that is two different thing color dye you have or we are dyeing our hair also so the dye means color and d i e means color so now we talk about the coloring of wool this wool can be colored into any color whatever the color you like you like white color so it can be dyed into the white color you like red color so whatever the colors the company wants to dye this wool can be dyed okay now after getting the knowledge that where do this wool comes from wool comes from the fleece of a sheep that fleece of a sheep and what are the uses as i have told you it is being used into the winter season it 
keeps our body warm it keeps our body fit and it prevents our body from heat escaping also our body's heat can't escape into the surrounding as i have told you it's uh, especially being used in the winter season it has a elasticity property also and it can be dyed into any color also now we will study about that what are the process of the ship and from where these ships are specially found in the india and other countries also and uh, what are the process of removing this fleece and how we get our full and close okay before that if you want to take a screenshot or you want to write in the notebook you can write this flow chart type As I had informed you about the fleece of a ship. After that, before starting about the rearing of ship, I would tell you about the qualities or name of bird. Especially, ship are reared for their wool in the countries around the world with the different climatic condition, including dry region with a low rainfall. Ship are reared barns in a large open area. Remember, dear students. Especially when the ship is reared, selective breeding, that which type of breed the people want for producing, what are the uses of that breed and from which country it is found. Mainly, ships breed are most important. Here I have written some of the breed name, what are the uses of that breed and in which state that breed is found. If I talk about Bhakarwal, Bhakarwal is a breed of wool. This is specially used for the woolen shawls and it is found in Jammu and Kashmir. So in this area, this type of ships are obtained and in this ships, the Bakarwal woolen shawls can be used. Second is I am talking about the breed of the ship is Lohi. It is a good quality wool. It is used for each and every purpose. So especially it is found in Rajasthan and Punjab. Third one I am talking about Marwari. Marwari is a breed of ship which is coarse coarse means it is very tight very rudely so that that coarse wool it is it is specially found in rajasthan and gujarat nali nali is a good uh, carpet quality wool you will see the carpets are also made up of wool so this nali is a breed of ship by which the carpets are specially woven and it is found in rajasthan haryana and punjab if i talk about patanwali patanwali is a fine wool means for hosiery. Hosiery means that vest we are wearing. So these are made up of Patanwali. Patanwali is a breed and especially it is fine wool means for hosiery. It is found in Gujarat. Where it is found? It is found in Gujarat. After that if I talk about Chokla. Chokla is a very good carpet wool. It is found in Rajasthan. If I talk about Rampur Gushe, which is a white brown fleece, it is found in Himachal Pradesh and Uttaranchal. So these are the some name of breeds, uses of that wool and in which state it is found. So you must have a knowledge about that which type of fleece do the ship gives and what are that fleece ships breed name means which breed do this ship give whenever you are seeing any ship. So in that ship, you can't understand which quality or which breed of ship. But if you talk to that shipman, then they can give you the information that from this ship, which type of wool you can obtain. So here are some name of breeds. What are the uses of that breeds? In which state they are found? You can take a screenshot or you can write this breed's name in your notebook. I hope all of you have taken a screenshot and if you are still having any doubt in this video then you can drop your doubt into the comment box section don't forget to like and subscribe this channel and if you want to share this video so you can share this video to your friends also and if you are having any doubt in the previous videos also or this video you can drop your doubt into the comment box section thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and also watch thank you